My name is Connor Heaney, and I'm a field zoologist. I saw this animal. Black as an oil slick. I travel around the countryside quite a lot. I would say it was about the size of a big Labrador or a Alsatian. So. We've now made several productions about rare animals around the world with my cameraman Michael Shaw and Sarah Bridges, my producer. So they didn't seem alarmed, just sort of padded along and then bounded into this sort of field. It's not a dog. Join me and my crew as we embark to find the beasts of Britain. I first found out about the possibility of big cats in Britain when I heard about the Exmoor case 20 years ago. Locals reported sightings of a black leopard in Devon. A farmer claimed to have lost over 100 sheep to the creature. Eventually, the government sent in the Royal Marines to the moors as snipers. Absurd idea, if you ask me. Carnegie's Beast of Britain's take one. I've been chief investigator on the Buchan Beast for about four years. We have hundreds of reports on this, but it's important to point out this comes from jokers. Desperate to be famous, get their names in the paper and that. So do you consider yourself something of a skeptic then? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the idea of a, an identified phantom cat roaming the, the Shire is far-fetched, to say the least. I mean, we had this one case, a young lad, I'll, I'll not name him, uh, his face was slashed, his house just on the outskirts of Mintlaw. Mm. Now, it was accepted he was scratched by a cat, but his mother swore it was something much bigger. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. That's yeah. good on my end. Is that yeah. me? Yeah. Yep, great. great. Was, that, was that okay? I'll get that, you guys can go on. Okay. Hmm. Well, we need to get some filler. So, Connor, mm -hmm. can you tell us why we are in Aberdeen of all places looking for panthers? Well, first of all, the panther isn't really a specific animal. Is it? No, it's just a name given to melanistic big cats of the panthera family. Uh, so things like jaguars, leopards, cougars. If you look at the side of its coat, you can see little markings called rosettes. Uh -huh. To answer your question, 20 years ago, Britain didn't have any laws against keeping exotic animals. And it wasn't until the government introduced one that people started to realise that they would either have to put their tigers and monkeys down or give them to the zoo. So not wanting to do either, people may have set their pets free. So if we're talking about leopards, for instance, we're looking at a life expectancy of 17 years. If we're looking for a jaguar, 15. So if they were released as cubs, it is entirely plausible. Mm -hmm. So we have a chance of finding an actual black cat in the forest here. Yes, we do. Okay. Well, um, what do these things eat? <sighs> Deer, rodents, insects, fish. Human on the menu? <laughs> I bet badly, but we're not the preferred prey. Okay. Good to know. Right, guys, come on, grab your coats. Just had a call. Farmer Ben Wyler lost a lamb last week and they just found the body. Come on, oh, let's go. That is nasty. Ugh. Oh, looking at a Jeepers Creepers. Mike, that's not funny. I never said it was. Looks like a dog did it. Nah, those are puncture wounds. Dogs don't make those. Who would you ring that Dougal guy? Where's the nearest telephone? Fuck if I know. Sorry. Ah, uh, we'll cut it in. You see this? Ooh. The skin's been stripped away. Yeah. This could be one of two things. Either an indigenous predator like a fox, or a large feline. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Mike, no swearing. Thank okay, you. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Mike, I mean, what did oh, I okay, just okay, say? okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh my god. You were infuriated. Okay, okay, sorry. Fine. Uh, juvenile oviseries. Mutilations to throat and shoulder. Breast and forearm missing as is most of the midsection. Possible culprit could be a lynx or might be. Oi! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, sorry, sir, but we're just. They're Get out of my arm! We didn't no, do anything, we're, we're just, just making we're a document. Calm it, calm it down. Get the bloody hey, calm hey, 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 it away! Calm it down! Calm it! I'm sorry, we'll. You're trespassing! 
one day I was painting near the edge of the cove and I saw this animal, black as an oil slick, just go streaking across the beach. Its head was round. I understand that you have a picture. Well, not a picture of sorts. I don't tend to take my camera with me when I go out. But hold on a moment. I've got something else. I tell you what, I really need a bigger studio here. <laughs> so much stuff here, honestly. I can't find what I'm looking for half the time. Mm. Right. Right. Here so, we go. Oh, wow. So it was really good at taking its, getting its likeness taken. Mm. As you can see, it's just underneath the cliffs here. I was lucky to get it. I had to paint really quickly because I didn't know how long it was going to be there. But as it turned out, it didn't move a muscle for maybe a good 20 minutes or so before it just took off again. That is incredible. How, how big was it compared to just a normal size dog? Well, I was a little distance away, but it was definitely, I would say it was definitely, definitely bigger than a dog. Mm. Definitely. And its head was larger and the tail was different. I mean, it, there was absolutely no doubt about it. It was not a dog. And do you think this is the beast of Buchan then? Oh, without a doubt, my dear. Oh, yeah. Wow. Without a doubt. Now, we heard that you have a story about your dog, Jasper. What can you tell us about him? If you get that trail uh, cam down, we can use it to check for footage. Uh, are you sure this is where it came out? Yes, I'm certain. This is the exact spot. Can you reach Connor, it? Connor, it's uh, freezing. Oh, Just a second. Guys. I need to get this camera down. No. Yeah, to admit it, there's no fucking panther! Fuck! This was fun to begin with, but now it's bullshit! It's not bullshit! Oh my god, it's guys! There's something out here! Here's you saw it! Hey! Fuck's sake, shut up the pair of you! Jesus Christ! Where are you going? I am going to the fucking ranger's office! The two of you are welcome to join me when you stop acting like dickheads! Sarah, come back! Fucking damn it. Why don't I do this goddamn job? Connor? Michael? Guys, this isn't fucking funny. Well, that could be a domestic cat. You're joking, aren't you? Look at its tail, it's not a domestic cat. Look, this has gone beyond a joke, Mr. Heaney. I can't go with just this. We have an eyewitness. Oh, Tara Barters me. But that woman is not all there. Her account doesn't stack up. Then why paint the thing when you can take a photo? <laughs> She's a landscape painter, she doesn't have a camera. I'm sorry, but a sheep and a shadow are not good enough. I'm not having you causing any panic in the area. Now come on, out. He was a kind, fun-loving, loyal soul who would stand by you no matter what. I walking him on the moors one night. I used to live down in Exmoor and it was a thick fog so I could hardly see my hands. Jasper must have been distracted because I pulled hard and I let go of the leash. Whatever they were looking for, they mistook him for it. It was dark, and in the dark, everything looks like a monster. As far as they were concerned, they were... I would just protect the Republic. I'm sure they... They tried to send me compensation, but... It wouldn't bring my darling back. Do you need a glass of water? So... 
Sarah's just told me we're postponing the production. I uh, think it probably best that we uh, let the cat remain a mystery. I uh, don't really want to see anyone else get hurt if we continued. Very sorry, everyone. Let's cut it there. Yeah.